You're listening to Why You Suck in Bed on the Riotcast Network, riotcast.com. Guys, do you want to give your women a hard time? Erections. Really, do you people think we're so shallow that the only way to get us to listen is using a sultry voice? Let me tell you how thinking men are dealing with their erections. Enzite. It's true. Millions of men rely on Enzite brands knowing they'll be ready to stand and deliver a confident performance anytime, every time. That's huge. Just one capsule a day, sort of like a vitamin you take once a day, is all it takes for strong peak male enhancement. Hurry, if you call now, you can score a special Enzite trial pack for the sack and receive a 10-day sample of Ogaplex for the ultimate male experience free with your order. Call now for the most powerful erections imaginable with the Enzite trial pack for the sack. Call one 800 6 or go to smilingbob.com 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 These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, or cure any disease. Free trial requires via life enrollment with future auto shipments. His nuts will be slapping against your asshole while his truck nuts are whacking you in the head. <laughs> Another episode of Why You Suck in Bed. I'm Dr. Stacy, And I'm Molly. And we're joined by the magic man, Jeff. Yeah. And um, he needs a song. like a I, he, no. Write it for me. But he, yeah, he, you got to write your own song, magic man. <laughs> it would be dark. I don't inspire myself. <laughs> oh, boy. And um, John. Word. Ed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was an early <laughs> one. And someone is missing again. Shocking. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't get the full theme when he's running. I already went to uh, Atlantic City this weekend. Is that true? His message to me was, can we tape earlier? I responded. If like we time or day? Time. I think because. He doesn't know what day. <laughs> so I said, we can tape earlier if that means you can make it. Mm-hmm. And by earlier, we're talking an hour. Like he wanted it at two and we're taping at three. So he did not respond to me for over a week. And then he got back to me saying something about how he disagrees with how Rolling Stone ranked the best live acts <laughs> in their latest issue. Oh, wow. Well. Which so I do relevant. disagree as well. And then wrote, by the way, spending the weekend in Jersey, not coming. And by Jersey, that's Atlantic. So. Jersey. He's back. He's bending. Right. So then I wrote back to him asking him the details about this excursion. No response. <laughs> That's because he knows. He knows he's doing wrong. I've, he knows he's setting himself up. Right. So I have been trying to correspond with him for over two weeks, and it's like it's like we're back to the same. Oh well. <laughs> we got we got a couple episodes out of him before him before he spiraled back out. <laughs> so that's that. We and got, we get we got poo crumbs out of him. So. We got poo crumbs <laughs> out of him. So yes. it was it was a good run. Yes. Jeff? Yes. What's new? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a I liar. I think that's the loudest you've ever spoken on the podcast. You have a new computer. No, I don't. Don't you notice the <laughs> mess? <laughs> it looks the name tag that you put on is still here? It looks different. It doesn't no. look different. It looks exactly <laughs> the, the same. same beat up piece of shit. Maybe that because I've had. I'm sober. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, he can <laughs> drink. He's not here. Yeah, you want crack? <laughs> I've been out in the sun too long. <laughs> What's going on? Nothing. My uterus is exploding. <laughs> Other than that, nothing. Wise. All right, Molly, how are you? This is going to spark something that we've talked about many times, but let me tell you about my morning. I woke up and had hot wax poured on my vagina and then subsequently ripped off Ugh. at high speed. <laughs> oh. And now I'm going commando. <laughs> That's pretty much what I sounded like. Couldn't you have just told me, can, I got waxed. Can we see? No. But I had hot wax put in my vagina. 
<laughs> they it, are ripped off. Is it red and puffy? Basically. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it, it feels like you got kicked afterwards. Did you get your butt done too? Of course. An asshole? Of course. They do your asshole too? That's what a full That's like Brazilian a is. A wow. full Brazilian, a Brazilian is you were fucking bald. Mm-hmm. That's your full the full package. Yep. Full package. What does it include the legs or it's just the no. whole no. pelvic the no. whole pelvic area? No, it's the asshole and the vagina. Extra. What about the, the the trail going down to the vagina? No. Well the no. belly button trail. No. no. Some some I mean you can request that but that's not included. That's not assumed. Yeah. What about the tramp stamp area? Is that included in the pelvic? I wish. No. 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 So what we're, we're, we're but are lot. you are you considering having one? We, Why? No, we may have to put together a, a, a we should open a business and <laughs> we'll include that all in the package. Okay. We'll call okay. it something else. What would you call it? We'll call it like the uh the Chan gang. The Italiano <laughs> or something. I mean no <laughs> waxing package is cheap enough for me because I'm of Middle Eastern descent. Grow like three hairs out of every follicle and I just need my whole fucking body wax. It's yeah. Oh my vagina hurts. <laughs> Um, so why 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 are you getting waxed? Because mm. I'm going abroad alone. Yeah. Why? To do some research, field research. You hear this? You hear this one? Have you heard about this research he wants to do? Wait, I'm sensing that you're annoyed. I'd I'm like to know. Anno- oh God! Here why we go do again. you sound so upset? I'm not upset. She's doing research I- for the show. You should be interested. I am interested, but I'm not like, did you hear this? Did you look and giving like death because, stares? Well, she's going to come back with like foreign diseases and uh, she's no, going to spread them no. to us. No, I'm going to use protection. I mean, I'm sitting next to her at a table. I don't want things jumping off of her onto my legs. I'm going to propose a theory. <laughs> I believe that you have a thing for Molly. John's in love with me. And you're annoyed that she's going to be going overseas and no, hooking up no. wet with hot Middle Eastern ass. First they are all, hot. There's over no there. Middle Eastern hotter than me. First off, um, you're not fucking Middle Eastern. Are you fucking kidding? I said, <laughs> no, I didn't say I was Middle Eastern. Oh, I said okay. there is no Middle Eastern oh, hotter I'm, than I. I beg to all differ. Right. Well, that implies okay. that people <laughs> of other nationalities are hotter than you. No. Um, oh my god, you stumped him. Semantic. I had to think, yeah, <laughs> I had to think about it. You got to do some research on that one. Too. And I think that you are feeling no, I, insecure. No, I said it on the show. She <laughs> threw me away like garbage. That's why. It still stings a little bit. Oh, I'm stings. sorry. But if you didn't care. She fucked my brains out and threw her. me to the curb. You wouldn't. Right that? See, I said that on the show. She fucked my brains out and threw me to the curb. But See that? Magic wouldn't. Man pulled that out of his ass. Why do you care? Why do I care? Why do you give a shit? Because you're a fucking lady who gets attached <laughs> after sex. Awkward. Right? Listen, shut up. <laughs> so what kind of research are you going to be doing? I'm taking our dick curvature research on the to the streets. On the road. <laughs> on the road. On the road. <laughs> she's a big dick on top of she's a van. Gonna, she's going <laughs> to like the Oscar Mayer <laughs> <movie. laughs> wiener truck. And it, the, the, the wiener the, movie. The back opens and she's just sitting there with a leg <laughs> open. <laughs> with a tape measure. Uh, line up, boys, with her big like megaphone. No, it'd be more like a protractor yes. to get the angle. <laughs> so good. Well, okay, yes. and now how will you be um, taking the notes of the, the data that you're collecting? Like, how are you going to do iPad. this? I okay. hope you're photographing everything Obviously. so that you can log. You need to photograph and chart and, God, you know what, what you're doing. But we need, we need like, I would like substantial an data. Ex- I would like an Excel graph of such data. Of course. I want a pie chart because <laughs> I love pie charts. Okay. I actually would like a pictograph with little <laughs> penises. In the, in, I want the pictures that you take scaled down and a pictograph. What was it? so like? Were the you inspired ones? by your daughter's homework or something? Yeah, <laughs> pictograph. <laughs> she hasn't started school yet. Don't even get me started on that. <laughs> All right, good. So that's cool. So you definitely need a Brazilian to do that research. Exactly. Yeah. So now it all I don't want sense. them to just run away before I can get no. my data collection mm-hmm. done. But it's interesting. I mean, do men over there... Mm. Be- Since the women are hairier, do they right. like it hairier? Thank you. You're reading my mind. I did. I just jumped right Good in. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like men there are less picky about body hair. Because women tend to have more... I don't know. Cultural differences. Right. Will they be wowed by your barren... Desert <laughs> of a vagina. You barren, scorched desert. earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. But well, well, they would be wild either way. I think. Ooh, that's quite a statement mm-hmm. right there. It's pretty what beautiful. What about the labia scar? 
Is that affected oh, by that your hurt? Brazilian? Yeah. I mean, no. I didn't even think it's, of that. It's long healed. And it's sort of like hidden in the folds. Yeah. <laughs> in the many. <laughs> what, what is <laughs> what oh, color? yeah. What is this? I'm sorry. Is that supposed to be Middle Eastern sex music? Yeah. I thought so. <laughs> Sounded a little <laughs> too tropical. You just got into his head I after I got into your head. This is crazy. We're doing like a, a circle jerk here. <laughs> Complete mindful. I think this is what happens when I don't drink during a podcast. Yeah. Can we actually do a circle jerk? Did the wax get into the... the well, the it's fold? hard wax, so it dries as like one piece, and then they just fucking rip it off. Oh, God damn. Have you, have you it ever hurts been waxed, more John? than you can imagine. Did the woman have like big biceps? God. She was a sassy black lady. <laughs> oh, it was fun. One of those, like, big biceps. Get your vagina out. Oh, oh, oh God. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff and I both like just pray to the mic <laughs> when you do shit like that. <laughs> For those of you who can't see us, I was waving he was my finger. He was wagging his finger. <laughs> I think they got that. He immediately got shoe polished and rubbed it all over his face. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> Put a handkerchief around John his John has head. transformed into Medea. <laughs> Sorry, I just had a picture in my head. I get pictures. Okay. Like butt chugging. Okay. Nothing is new with me. I'm still with Superman. We... Didn't you go away? Though? Yeah, with him. How did that work out? It was actually really good. And he was good or it was The good? whole experience was good and um, it made me scared. And it made about. me just that like, why is it so good? And then I realized, well, because we're in a foreign country where everything is beautiful, all the food is delicious, the drinks are flowing. So that's, not, that's not here? It's not reality. Here's not pretty and <laughs> you can't get drinks flowing. And if here was the same as an all-inclusive resort, then I think everything and everything would be great. For everybody on <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't that hate would Long a, Island so much. That would be Elysium right there. I mean... Yeah. So here you're surrounded by truck nuts. Yep. Truck nuts. There's a story you can tell. Oh, God. The, the people who you do live with. We're going off the beaten trail. Here we go. Truck nuts. Go. So <laughs> I have a neighbor who has an enormous set of truck nuts. <laughs> and if you don't know what truck nuts are, just Google it because I, I they're they to me they're disgusting and they come in all different kinds. There's the silver one truck nuts. They are the black truck nuts. They are the ones that look like bags, like actual nuts, like, like yeah, leather sacks. I've never seen those. Yeah, they're That's like those are the they're worst. like anatomically correct. Yeah. That's awesome. Ball sacks. Yeah. Do you think his real nuts are really <laughs> tiny and he's overcompensating? Well, he is a man of small stature. And I know that doesn't mean anything. So either he I think there's a Napoleon complex thing going on, yeah. but and you know, here's an aside. I'd like to see truck nuts with hair on them. That has Me yet too. to be done. Fucking if you're going to fucking show your nuts hanging off a truck, then d- go all the way, dude. But like, some guys shave them. Maybe he shaves. Some guys. Maybe he shaves his truck nuts. But what if you don't shave your nuts? Yeah. Do they and you sell truck nuts and then people mm. shave them? Mm. <laughs> That's crazy. Truck nut shaving kits. That's a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> See, I say if you're going to throw nuts on, just throw a dick on there, too. Like the back of the dick. Imagine right. if the trailer hitch was like a curved penis. Mm. Like the back of the penis. Well, that was, that's what you'd use on your field research. <laughs> <laughs> on the road. Um, so anyway, this guy, whatever. And he, I guess he get, must have gotten it for Christmas because I saw it emerge after Christmas. These enormous shining silver truck nuts. And you think he polishes them? They make me want to kill myself. Who do you think bought them for him? His mom. Probably I, his wife. Yeah. I bet you his wife is like a redneck. It's yeah. like, ooh, ooh, that's funny. Or he's like, I'm treating myself this year. But they're, they're not. They're like very New York. Like the mother screams at the kids in the neighborhood, get, get the fuck inside. <laughs> and they're like six. You know what I mean? Like, get the fuck in the house. Hey, my mom used to scream at me like that. Well, all the time. It, case in point. Okay. <laughs> I so. <turned> out, right. <laughs> <laughs> and then she smacked me in the back of the head. <laughs> Get the fuck in here. Get the some, fuck inside. Hey, the fucking ZD's ready. Get back in here, you little fuck. Well, the whole neighborhood doesn't need to hear F-bombs constantly. So My dad was even worse. <laughs> he would, uh, he had like a dog whistle that he'd, <laughs> like he'd whistle down that, the block. That doesn't bother me. I, I don't mind, but don't be screaming fuck down the street, you know, at like 10 in the morning. So, <laughs> okay, so this is, this is who I'm speaking of. So today I was in my local Pub. coffee shop. Pub. Not yet. And I run into Chalk Nuts, and he 
Hey, what's going on? Oh, hi. What's going on? I said, just, wow, I thought he was here for a second. Just get, <laughs> shut up, Dick. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just getting coffee. That's getting- the magic of radio. <laughs> <laughs> Master of impression. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor of psychology. This is Jeff. <laughs> Who are you looking to pick up, dudes? You like that one? <laughs> you looking to pick up dudes? Uh, by the way, Amazon.com <laughs> sells truck nuts. Do they? A hundred percent. And they sell. What vo- don't they sell? They sell voice changers oh, too. Yeah, look at those. Veins. So veiny. <laughs> That's awesome. You can get veiny ones. And for they're like I didn't legit flesh color. That's the only kind I've seen. The flesh color, uh, realistic sh- ones. Show her the ones my neighbor has. The big silver ones. So anyway, so he's like, uh, he asked me what's going on oh, twice. That's a keychain. <laughs> a tr- is a nut keychain? Well, yep. yeah. And I said, I'm ge- and I responded, I said, I'm getting coffee. And he said, a tough night? I said, no. And then, he, whatever. And then he starts talking to me and telling me how he paces in front of his place when he can't sleep and he smokes cigarettes. And I'm like, okay. You know, and that his father-in-law caught him driving around town at 3.30 in the morning and it was only because he couldn't sleep. And I'm thinking, bullshit. <laughs> anyway. Walking out of the establishment, and Chuck Nutt says, Just so you know, if I wasn't married, I'd be knocking down your door. Lovely. With his Chuck Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> On your head. Can you imagine? <laughs> knocking down your door. What does he expect you to respond? Like, I yeah. I'll come wait. over and fuck me. I'll wait for you. I was gripping Why my don't you iced get coffee. Divorced? Yeah, like, That's what ooh, said. really? Can you wear that wife beater you mean, when you do it? You mean I'm a I'm a second to your wife? <gasps> I oh. want to be your mistress. Yeah, I've seen those nuts. Can I see the real thing? The guys do that all the time, though, just to let you know. Like, hey, I got eyes yeah, on you. You ever want to fuck? I got eyes on you. You know where to find me. If you want? If I'm going to cheat. Two doors down. <laughs> You've seen the rendering of my nuts. <laughs> if, if, I'm, if I'm going to cheat. I got my nuts 3D printed. You're convenient for cheating. Right, you're convenient Right. And then lets me know that he's out at 3.30 in the morning. In, in case you want to go out right. there and meet him. Right. So you know where there the was a him. whole under, like a little like yeah. conversation going on. Because he's hoping, he's hoping he'll be outside smoking one day and then you'll come out in like a little robe or something and be like, hey, truck nuts. <laughs> like a teddy. <laughs> I'm going to take you up on that off. Yeah, like a fucking porn. Like, I need <laughs> you to fuck me. That's and how he p- fuck me on the truck right. with the nuts. With the nuts. He'll <laughs> smack you with the nuts while he's fucking you from the behind. <laughs> His nuts will be slapping against your asshole while his truck nuts are whacking you in the head. <laughs> God. You're so creative, John. <laughs> <laughs> he almost choked <laughs> on his water. <laughs> so as I'm gripping my what? iced coffee <laughs> and I am horrified, like, you know those moments where men say stuff that you didn't expect and you're just like, what the no, you were you were turned on. That was, yeah, that wasn't horrification. In his mind, your panties were fucking so exactly. wet. Well, I wasn't wearing pants. No, she, I was just about to say. I that. was wearing sweatpants. She started leaving a snail trail on the floor. <sighs> I was wearing sweatpants and a Chicago Cubs T-shirt, and he proceeds to stare at my ass while saying the following, not looking at me. No, you're really looking good. Taking you to Pound Town, baby. <laughs> That's what he was saying in his head. <laughs> and I looked at him and went, ow. Oh. Like, I didn't even say thank you because it wasn't welcomed. And then he said, you know, sometimes people need to hear compliments like that. You know, I say what I think. I think what I say. I, no, I say what I think. I, f- I don't know. Whatever. I, whatever he said. I'm traumatized by the whole fucking thing. <laughs> and I'm just. And I was like, okay. So rapey. And then the way he said goodbye to me was, see you in the hood. <laughs> <laughs> You live in the hood? Classy. <laughs> exactly. With him around, it's pretty practically the hood. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> I, live, I live in a really bad area. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nowhere, know, there's nowhere on Long Island that, that you can say that to about. <sighs> Loosen up, babe. Yeah, I mean, there was a dead body found recently uh, in an upper middle class area of Long Island. So what? That's one dead body. <laughs> <laughs> fucking break. <laughs> People die. Give them happens. some time. They'll make some more. All right. Enough about. Thank you, Jeff, You're for ha- <laughs> helping me get that off my chest. Yeah, you didn't want to hold that in. Yeah. All right. So I tweeted last night while I was watching the L Word, which, by the way, 
the hell is the L word? I gotta tell you. I, Lesbians? I, yeah, I finished watching Orange is the New Black, which I fucking love. And I was so pissed that it was over. And I'm like, I gotta find something else to watch. And I never watched the L word. And of course... My life is surrounded by lesbians, so I said, let me watch it. Oh, it it actually does stand for lesbians? Yeah. Have you guys seen it? I watched a couple episodes a few years back. I will tell you, I think the acting is atrocious. Lesbian bed death. I think think it's, I I don't, so far I'm not into it, but I am extremely attracted to one of the lesbians in the show. Shane. Because she looks like a dude. And I'm like, you are fucking hot. Hot guy? I'll pull up a picture for you. But anyway... So there are a lot of lesbian sex scenes in it, and I'm laying in bed by myself with my cat like a fucking loser, essentially, watching the L word, watching women eat each other out and finger each other. And do they pa- do that on the show? Yeah. Oh, maybe oh, I was cool. turned on you. by a nice pussy. You're stimming on your case right now. <laughs> I am. <laughs> um, and I had I'm no tra- reaction in my vagina. I'm trying to calm down. I think yeah. it's official that I'm straight. I think I it's mean, official. I'm Even though Shane is hot. The sex shit wasn't getting me turned on. Yeah, I watched the first episode of Orange is the New Black, and there's a hardcore lesbian sex scene. Yeah, there is. And I was just, eh. Did it, you didn't do anything. No. It's like, yeah. eh. That's okay. because Cool, they look like they're enjoying themselves. Yeah, <laughs> I know. All women need dick. Ugh. Be it nun, nurse, <laughs> audible <laughs> groans teacher. from the audience. Now Molly's doing this. <laughs> we have uh, an audience member just so everyone out there knows. She might chime in occasionally, but she's a fan and she won tickets to see us. <laughs> <laughs> no, she won a different kind of prize. Yeah. <laughs> she just spit all over herself. She won the, the <laughs> Jeff Sausage Deluxe. <laughs> yeah, baby. That ain't no takeout, baby. So yet that again, really yet again, one of us is banging a listener. So we just can't get out of our own way. <laughs> hey, that's what happens when you become famous. You just bang. <laughs> when everybody listens to you, you can't avoid it. Exactly. <laughs> All right. We're um, famous in our own right. <laughs> so anyway, what I are was we like 47 We're on the one? iTunes top yeah. 200, motherfuckers. No, we're in the top 50, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> we were. <laughs> Actually, I think we just overtook um, Mark Marone. Marin. Yeah, yeah. Mark Marin. Oh, my God. I can't believe call him Marone. Mar- Mark Marin. We're getting our own IFC TV show. <laughs> <pretty soon. laughs> yeah. It's just us sitting here doing it. Ah, uh, yeah. No, we're going to dramatize our lives. Me sitting in the dark. <laughs> you stimming. I'm just collecting Cats. wildlife. Yeah. <laughs> and Molly cutting pieces of her vagina off. Basically. And by the way, I, I'd like to read you something. This is kind of a, uh, a callback mm. to a, a show that you kind of jumped all over me about. Mm-hmm. I don't even know if you'll remember this conversation, but it says, Timing of intercourse. Studies indicate that the sperm with the X chromosome or female chromosome have longer s- lifespan than the male sperm with the Y chromosome. And then they go on to say that the... Uh, hold on. That said, if a woman knows her cycle and when she ovulates, the odds of a baby gender prediction can be in one's favor. Because one type of sperm... I s- I said this. I no bullshit. That was I said the worst this. segue in the history I don't give of a podcast. I said this a while ago. It's been on my mind and it's been burning on on, on, on because I said this on the show a while ago. And you Is that jumped. the brain eraser? Was that a callback to the brain yes. eraser? <laughs> you you jump down. What I do when I don't know how to deal. I'm like, forget it happened. You, you <laughs> jump down my throat and say, "Find fucking research." Well. Fuck you, I found research. She what? forgot to add the addendum that makes sense. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I, had all, a, I had to shoehorn this thing in while it was fresh in my mind. Cite your goddamn forgot. research. All I know is you picked up your girly iPhone case. That's what and I you, said. you read from a screen. It's like a fucking random website. Do you cite anything that you fucking read except for yes. Cosmopolitan? No, I, that's citing. That's bullshit. And Molly cites they her don't studies. Even have fucking real people writing on that fucking magazine. It's a real? bunch of fucking old ladies <laughs> Sitting around they knitting and writing shit. They typing at computers. They have cyborgs. <laughs> <laughs> Androids. Oh, what did I see in Cosmo the other day? That you should... A sexy way to put on a condom is to roll it on with your feet. Ew! Ew! <laughs> Ew. I would immediately lose my erection. No sex. Right? Unless a guy has a foot fetish. I don't see anything right. hot about that. Exactly. Right. And there are some guys that have that fetish, and that might work for them, but... I, I mean, it was entertaining, because <laughs> I just pictured some inexperienced girl, like, whipping that out as her signature move. <laughs> but 
let's let's take hey, a baby. Let's use protection this time, and let's go through this. He's laying on his back with a huge heart on, and you, how do you even position you yourself? You like flip yourself. You just sit there like. Do watch you sit? this move. He says sit. to like scoot back and like sit butterfly, and then like <clears throat> put the tip on, and then sit back and roll it on with your toes. That cr- that cre- that's a lot of balance <laughs> and coordination, and well, it also said lube. to support yourself on your arms. It would be more impressive if you ripped it open with your feet. The package. I yeah. also like your feet. Hmm. You I mean. <laughs> I know how to put one on with my mouth. What? Oh, yeah. oh, wow. wow. Uh, can, we, can we get a banana in here? Can we see this? I don't... Does anyone That's ever- how I learned. A friend of mine took a blowjob class a couple years back and is passed this, on this trick. Is this accredited trick. university class? <laughs> yeah. Blowjobs 105. Well, what's the trick? Is there something that you need you to... You have to, like, suction it and obviously hide your teeth and just... <laughs> roll it on as so, if you're giving a blowjob. So you're rolling it on right. already and in your mouth you're as you're putting the dick deeper and deeper into your yeah yeah. You're no. rolling down the condom. It's actually pretty fucking cool. Huh. Works better with flavored ones. I don't obviously. use condoms, so I don't. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. I would think you'd have to get special condoms to do that because a lot of condoms have like shit, like spermicide and all kinds well, of crap on that's, the outside. I mean, that's not you know. That would be fucking nasty. You do it with flavored ones. Listen, not as nasty as your sperm in my mouth, but you know, that's we, not we, true. We do things. For you men. used to you used to swallow and go, mmm, yummy, every time. <laughs> I never did Every that. Every time you said the same thing. Mm, no, yummy. No, never. Just like that. No, that never happened. And you rubbed your tummy while you did it. Mm, yummy. <laughs> Sperm gives some women indigestion. Fun fact. Maybe that was it. Maybe you had indigestion. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have said mm, yummy. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. She was saying it sarcastically every time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, usually I missed she, her mouth and I blew it in her eye. It was dark, <laughs> so you didn't see her rolling her <laughs> and eyes. And then she would swallow and go, mm, yummy, while it's dripping down her eyelashes. That's right. That's right. <laughs> we were such a pair. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you remember when we hung up the uh, the dartboard and I tried hitting it? Mm-hmm. Like you would jerk me mm-hmm. until I couldn't <laughs> hold it anymore and then I would mm-hmm. aim it at the dartboard and try hitting it? Mm-hmm. We called it the uh, college is so much fun. We called it the cum Olympics. We, we tried all. We different tried things. a lot of different sports we with did. my dick. <laughs> we did. We did. We, did. we, we did. called uh, sex slaloming for a while. Remember when we played? Uh, we played. <laughs> we played hockey with my dick. Remember that? Yes. And I, I, I dude, and this, this is not a once, ice hockey. This is a once in a lifetime thing. I actually hit a golf ball into a vagina. <laughs> my penis. <laughs> With my penis. <laughs> like, I was kind of, like, standing over it like, uh, like a golfer <laughs> would. Like, so I guess it was golf. I guess it wasn't happy. Oh, my God. Well, my that vagina... That implies that your dick is big enough to hold, like, golf. <laughs> <laughs> He's lying. But my vagina... No, I'm not. No, I mean, we did this, but you weren't standing and letting your little penis, like, hit... Yeah, I was standing... I was... You were crouching pretty low to yeah, the ground. Well, ha- yeah, well, okay. Um, but... It, it was hockey, and my vagina was the, the net. It was the net, right. Yeah, I guess it was. Golf. It's like a hybrid of golf and hockey, because we didn't use a hockey puck. I hope you Remember? sterilized that golf ball. Because tr- the hockey puck is very heavy. And it was too big. Right. Like, we couldn't get it in no. the right angle. It right. Just, <laughs> the hockey puck we, is very hard. We'd have to knuckle puck it. <laughs> 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 it would be... It would, I'd, I'd have and, to sla- you, and you know what John did? He I insisted on... <laughs> playing golf but getting the ball into my asshole <laughs> and i because that's where i do understand physics i drew all. the line i bought golf clubs uh, <laughs> uh golf gloves just for that too yeah and i was like you're fuck what happened was <laughs> and i put tape on the shaft right. so i can hold it better <laughs> a little bag to put your mm. dick in and then we bought a ball cleaner <laughs> we had a little mid- <laughs> a little <laughs> cart <laughs> we had a midget come in with different clubs <laughs> <laughs> holding different golf balls <laughs> i snorted <laughs> Little flag by her pussy. <laughs> Darts was my favorite, though. You'd be like, hit the 20. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the rough. <laughs> Triple 20. <laughs> Bullseye, bitch. So what happened was we were in college, and the Olympics were on all the time, and we would go <laughs> all, <the time>. <laughs> <laughs> all, year, all year long back they then. They decided to make it a full year event that year. <laughs> no! I mean, during this certain period of time. Back then, it was the whole year round. (laughs) They went to college in Athens. (laughs) Back during Roman times. 
<laughs> and everyone was training in our college for the Olympics. We used to do discus throwing all the time. But we, but it was a period where we were in college, and every time we'd go to the bar, it was fucking on, and we would sit there and drink and come up with how we could use his penis in my vagina <laughs> to do the different events. Yeah, basketball was a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't keep your dribble up. <laughs> You did look good in that stocking, so I will say that. <laughs> At least you didn't try a javelin. <laughs> the figure skating was when we... That was tough. We got so drunk and high. It was a bathtub. And he, put, he put on one of my mini skirts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of oil and a bathtub involved, and we danced in a bathtub in uh, costumes. <laughs> you remember we pulled the whole shower curtain and the fucking rod came right down because we fell? And we almost Slipped. gave ourselves concussions. Yeah, you almost broke my dick. You like <laughs> fell on it because I was hard the whole time from wearing the skirt. <laughs> oh, I thought it was me. I thought my hot... No, I looked fucking good okay. in the skirt. <laughs> it was sequins. You had, you had it a was. leotard on, which was kind of hot. Yeah. Because it like kind of rode up. Because I was the guy. It rode up a little bit. <laughs> and you were the girl. I want to put both your balls in my hole. <laughs> oh, God. So, Those are the days. How about so. we... Uh, let, let's throw that out there to the fans. <laughs> we want <laughs> we want more uh, Sex Olympics ideas. Right now, we do. Uh, send us a voicemail. What's the number again? <laughs> Henry's not Henry? here. <laughs> Henry? Henry? He's the only one that knows I thought that. you were going to make it a clip. Yeah, that, yeah, right. We really should. It is... Nine seven eight five zero three suck nine seven eight five zero three suck. I just remember the suck part. The other stuff we gotta get. Can we cut it? <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> Can we get rid of the other stuff? I you don't know. need all those numbers. Do no. You to get through. No, it's silly. All right. So I was tweeting last night while I was watching the L word and bored out of my mind, and I um, asked some of our followers to come up with topics for today, and I'm just gonna quickly go through them, and then we'll move on to our other stuff. But well, you're gonna read through the list. Or are we going to... Actually... Yeah, well, well, we could talk about it. Uh, Writing in Bed, who's hilarious, and she's a follower, said, um, have you talked about why women still sleep with a guy even when they find out he's been asking out other women? Because mm. they want to get laid. Right. I mean, if he has a nice penis... I think that would turn some girls on, Sometimes you just on, don't though. give a shit. Wouldn't that turn some girls on, like you, to know that your guy is like flirting with other chicks and that they're... Yeah, I mean, if you're with them for the night, you're like... At least they're with me for tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to do that. But that is not... I wasn't expecting a relationship. So she might be... Right. If you're not in a committed relationship, then that's fair game. You can't expect him not to. Right. And I think if you want to be in a relationship and you know <coughs> he's doing that, you probably should move on because it's not going to happen. See, I used to be dumb like that. Like I would, I would go out with a girl on a date and then I would like just try and go out with that one. Like I would focus too much on one person. Dumbass. He's a, of, he's a lady. I, I, all right. Maybe I am. <laughs> I don't know. I, I had trouble like multitasking. I like to focus on one and do that the right way. I have a perfect vagina. Until later <laughs> on when I got older. Then I, you know, right. I started to broaden the horizon. The then I would, yeah. Then I went on match and I started juggling them all over the place. And they were all crazy. And they were all fucking nuts, but I got laid a lot. We should get right. them as a sponsor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then play They'll that clip love from, the things you have to say from a year them. ago. You know what I was thinking? Uh, that music that's played for eHarmony, that Dan Oh, it's Ant, creepy. Makes really creepy. That like, guy I, is creepy. I realized it today. I was, uh, wasn't was looking at the television. I was cleaning up, and I heard it, and I'm like, Bleh. it you, like makes me... You see the It reminds me of The Parent Trap for some reason. <laughs> really? Yeah. Is, do they have music like that? Yeah. I don't remember that. Their new ad campaign is like a couple on a date, and then he shows up on the date. Like, <laughs> it, it's like in the middle of every relationship. There's me. <laughs> I started it. He's and he's he, ooh, everything about him. I remember. Yeah, and I stayed on Match because I was like, that site is for old people. I don't want to be on that site. Like from seeing that guy in those commercials, like it seems like just old people are on that website. Yeah, or they young have to get their marketing shit together. Yeah, like, what the fuck is that? Or young people who have really aged prematurely, like the girl we know who's just turned thirty and but she she's, looks like she's fifty. Though. Right, she acts right. and looks like she's fifty. That, right, yes, and that would be the person. Right, yeah. who'd go on eHarmony. Right, <laughs> and also because you pay, young people don't want to go on there. No, I mean, match is cheap as shit. E-Harmony is expensive. So it's, OkCupid is free. 
Right. right. So, and there are even more people in there, and they're even crazier. Like, you, I guess maybe you get less crazy the more you pay. Or they have money to cover the crazy. They can afford meds. Because I was on uh, Plenty of Fish, and ev- like, insan- like, com- like, I complain about Match, but complete debacle, that whole If you're, all, if you're thing. paying for a fucking website, why would you not... Put a real picture of yourself. I don't want to date your fucking dog. That Why fucking, I hate that shit. Why don't you put your fucking occupation? <laughs> I think the name Plenty of Fish is... Not bullshit. <laughs> Bull fucking shit. That is fucking bullshit. And that's why this fucking site is so goddamn retarded. There's no guy on Match.com that looks at fucking hair and says, Oh, I'm going to date her because her fucking hair is nice. <laughs> bullshit. I can't Fuck wait that. for them to sponsor Fuck us. Match.com. Yeah. That's fucking horse shit. Are you, that, that, seriously, seriously, where you're sitting right now, does that make any fucking sense at all? No. Did Julie Bloom write that? Who fucking wrote that article? <laughs> Julie. <laughs> Julie Bloom. <laughs> Judy's daughter. Oh, oh nostalgia. <laughs> what is it, Judy Bloom? Yes. <laughs> I get angry and I, and I forget things. Julie Bloom! <laughs> Rolling Stones. <laughs> All right. Anyway. So there you next go. Topic. Next was do the girls, meaning us, I suppose. Maybe John, because you're yeah. a lady. Apparently. <laughs> he's a female. I have a labor majority. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> he has a Julie Bloom. <laughs> I have a Judy Bloom. Did he just say a labor oh, majority? Is that the name of a union? Labor majority. <laughs> yeah, they're in fights with it's the a, Teamsters it's a, every it's now and then. It's a majora. <laughs> Labor majority. <laughs> <laughs> the negotiations with Bloomberg. <laughs> okay. You guys just don't understand me. <laughs> do the girls like their asses eaten? I know one. Yeah, we ch- this one right here. I do too. Is there do ass? You? Yes. Especially Not when from freshly you. Wild. No, because but, you don't like ass. But did you say? I knew. I knew you said uh, pounding was all right. I didn't know <laughs> that you ever said uh, ass pounding. Yeah. Um, I don't think you have a, uh, admitted to the salad eating. Salad I like pasta. the, I like the, but I don't like uh, excessive. I it's enjoy like, it's like you could you give me a little and then just move on. Like a little I, lick? Like a, just, just like a, a, little, a little bit, just for taste. Asshole. Like a little salt to taste. But I, don't, don't go fucking crazy down there because then I start questioning you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it's so true. I actually was with a guy who really like was mm. enthusiastically into eating asshole, and it's oh. after a while, it's like, mm. why? Yeah, what's going on with you? Yeah. Uh, so, just, uh, is there ass eating etiquette? That skews me out. No. Yeah, wax your asshole. Yeah, I mean, as far as a guy, if you're gonna eat a girl's ass, just do it. I don't or bleach it if you're Cali and super self conscious. Right? No, you want. Uh, we talked about this. It's got to be. Clean, at least, fuck's sakes. The whole area's got to be clean. That whole you thing. The whole fucking... You thing? Yeah, the whole... You had a power wash, you you. The whole trough you got down there's got to be cleaned Shh. out. Trough. <laughs> I hate you. Pigs you like troughs. Podcast, please? Right, I'm not a pig. I don't want to eat out of your trough. Warn some. He wants to know. Do you warn someone before you tongue their hiney? Do you what? Some warn them. Yes. Like the guy should warn. I find that you. Although do there's no non-awkward way to broach the topic. I, I think you just kind of head in that direction and see what happens. No, I I think you head in the direction. You do a little lick, and then you say, "Do you like that?" That's that's sound advice. Okay. Yeah. Because if you stop everything and say, "Would you like me to engage yeah. in ass?" Can I put my dick play? in now? Can it's I over. Make I'd be like, get, get the analogous. fuck out of here. Can I put my tongue on your clitoris? <laughs> <laughs> Can I eat from your trough? Can I shove my mouth in your trough? <laughs> <laughs> Here's another one from Alex. Oh, by the way, that the ass eating was uh, Dusty Wade. Dusty. Uh, Alex says, should one night stands develop into relationships or is that doomed from the start? Are nope. There, are there signs to look for? Nope, not doomed. Uh, I don't believe I that. I have to say, I've had several long relationships and all of them started as one night stands. That's because you're a hoe. Exactly. <laughs> but um, it's not impossible. I think you're a slut. And I'm talking like four year, two year Right. Uh, do you think there are signs? Like, do you think there are certain signs a girl or a guy can Yeah, if you want to fuck them again. No, I mean like, this is just going to be a one night stand. Oh. There's no sign because a couple of them were bad one night stands and it still developed into something. Really? Yeah. Like you. Like how bad? 
<laughs> now you stalk her. <laughs> really bad, like busting in a minute. Oh. Yeah. Don't look at me. I didn't, you can't <laughs> even fucking say I did that, all right? Give me some fucking credit around here. You're more like five. Thanks. <laughs> I'll take that. That's probably the best I'm going to get. All right. Uh, I'm going to go through these kind of quickly. Uh, here, Dusty has another question. I was told this week that because I don't want children, I am selfish and wasting my life. <sighs> Pretty much. That's not true. Just kidding. Who said that? <laughs> probably the girl that wants to have your babies. Yeah. That's bullshit, yeah, that's a matter of opinion. Right? That's probably who said it. Like, having a kid and not having a kid are both huge decisions. Well, actually, that sounds like a mom thing. Like, a mom would say that. Because You're she, wasting your life, Because Dusty. she resents having children. Anyone that no, says that to you... because she wants grandchildren. She's being oh, selfish you mean, herself. you mean his mom. His mom, right. Oh, I'm t- I think just meant moms. Like, wi- moms who think that, you know, everyone You're everyone's missing like, out on the most yeah. beautiful part of life. They just want you to be miserable with them. Right. If you're a happy mom, you don't need to fucking say that to people. No, but, I'm saying, like... Like, children, like a little angel that. sent from like, I Jesus. I want grandchildren, Dusty. And then Alex, <laughs> and then Alex chimed in and said that. Then they all say you'll reconsider when you're older. Uh, some, I mean, some people. Some do. people do, but don't fucking worry about that. Some all right. And then here's the last one from Kevin. What about porn addiction? What about it? Recently found out jerking off to online porn with Casey and JoJo on iTunes isn't a real relationship. So he said, Sue Apple. <laughs> That's right. Make, make money like a real person he in should. the United States. Porn addiction, he said, is a topic. I think we actually covered some of that. Yeah, I think we did talk about it a lot. On uh, other episodes. Extensively, but, uh, I talked about chafing on the shaft. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> I had a little spot. Ah! All right. My chafing spot is healed, by the way. I just wanted to throw that out. Good. Congratulations. Good, yeah, good news. <laughs> I've been taking it a little easier on it, you know. Okay. Throwing a little more uh, moisturizer on there. It's good to know. <laughs> Feels a lot better. Awesome. Should, we should have a segment with him. Giving jerk off tips. Of yeah. <laughs> Why don't you write the theme music? He rises to the occasion. <laughs> Why don't we do some listener email? Okay. And uh, then we'll do it's some. It's time to answer your email. Plugs. It's time to answer your emails. Wow, that was enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> was that one? I thought you were going to replay it just to get a better response. <laughs> Shit. I have to pee. You can go. I mean, if Henry can leave for an hour during a show, <laughs> <that's true. laughs> I'll be respectful and hold my Yeah, ear. you're not wearing underwear. It's not going to take long. You could just go in there and just dump it. Why don't you just pee right on the chair? All right. It would slide out. Thank you for permission. Um, it wouldn't get caught in the hair or anything. It would just trickle right out. Jesus Christ. Right out, right, right out the drop. <laughs> Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> the you, U is wet. I'll get some paper towels later. Oh, can you take the mic out from down there? Oh, come on. Not on the mic. It's disgusting. Sorry, Jeff. It's the second pussy we had on the mic today. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> the other one was ha- was furrier, though. Very furry. Didn't have a Brazilian. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call that thing? What's its name? I'm not... You have to say it now on the air. Tell everyone how much of a cat lady you are. What's the name of this cat? Come on. Spit it out. Someone's stimming now. Mr. George. That's not his name. <laughs> That's not his name. Fucking say I'm it. I'm not saying his real say name. Say his fucking name. Nope. I, if I remembered it, it was something like Puffkin or <laughs> Poofy <laughs> fucking something with a poof in it. Like Poofy Pooferson. My niece, my niece named him. Bullshit. <laughs> I didn't name him. You did not let your niece name yes, your I, cat. Yes, I did. You are a fucking liar. You're lying right to our faces. <laughs> you named it like Mr. Poofikins no, or some shit like that. And you put a little bow tie on him and you have tea parties with him. <laughs> He's going to be and on you, my... you say, Mr. Poofikins, story. do you want little crumpets with your tea? He's going to be on my Christmas card. How about some catnip, Mr. Poofikins? Mr. Poofikins. That is his name, isn't it? <laughs> nope. No. But close. All right. <laughs> Hi, guys. I have a long commute to work every day, an hour each way, and listening to your podcast. Who is this? <sighs> see, I have to always look at the bottom to see what Alan, because sometimes I don't like to use their real names. All right. Go ahead, Alan. All right. Continue. Sorry um, for interrupting you, Alan. Your podcasts make the trip seem to just fly by. I used to listen to Robert Kelly's You Know What Dude, and he gave you guys a shout out once. So I checked you Truth. out. And I gotta say, I have not Thanks, listened Bobby. to Bobby since. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> I went back to the beginning of your shows and have made it to episode 76. I'm catching up slowly but surely. 
Let me know if you read this on the show so I can jump ahead episodes and listen. I will. I'll let you know. Molly has been a great addition to the cast, such a sexy voice, and not as crazy and fucked up in the head as Callie was. Ow. And for the guys, yeah. you rock. TP, rant on. The show wouldn't be the same if you didn't. Eh? Jeff, it seems like everyone over... Sh- oh, it's not TP. It's John that rants. But okay. Jeff, <laughs> it seems like... We, we are one in the same. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, it seems like everyone overshadows you. That's my life, dude. Y- you need to speak up and That's be heard. because he lives in the shadows. He lives in the shadows. I'm sure you have more input on topics than you give. I'm an engineer, man. <laughs> anyway. I talk like this. What I want... <laughs> what <laughs> that's my... That's, that's, that's the best one. Jeff, how are you feeling right now? I want to have anal sex on a crucifix. What I wanted to talk about is this. I've been married for seven years, and like most, I hear the sex used to be great, but now it's rare, once a month. It uh, always seems like a hassle for her. Uh, She's too tired, sore body, headache, always some sort of excuse. Man. It's depressing. I've contemplated having an affair, but Ooh. I'm not that kind of guy. But damn, I need to get laid more. I have a healthy sex appetite, and once a month, BS doesn't do it. Mm. I try off just to be shot down. It's a real self-esteem killer. Hmm. A few years back, after being turned down at bedtime one night, I woke up to her sleeping with her hand on my cock. Hmm. So I reached over and began rubbing around her clit, immediately turning into some great sex. So for a few months, all I would have to do is rub her a little around her clit while she was sleeping and bang, she was on me. That was now has now long went away and it doesn't work anymore. I know she comes, I can tell, but never wakes up anymore. I want to make you come so bad. Wait, what? He was banging her while she was sleeping? I yeah. sound really hot in that That's clip. hot. Recently, oh, I... She didn't like, wait, rape? Not rape? Let's see. No, that is awesome. That is not considered rape. Okay. <laughs> Says John. In, in the John Guide book, that's not rape. Okay. <laughs> that is absolutely not rape. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because re- in her dream, she said yes. Wow. All right. This continues. I'm not even going to touch that. If joke. her body is spaging <laughs> and... Okay. You like, can't give consent in your sleep, John. Do the yes. black woman. <laughs> but, <laughs> do the I black thought you were touching the story. <laughs> her body is saying yes by secreting things that allow it to happen. All right. Continue the email. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, he just became like a Republican dickbag. <laughs> I hate you. Dude, Continue. they're married. There's no such thing as Not rape. rape I'm, if she I'm leaving this it. She's gone. She's like, look, she's pulling a Henry. <laughs> she's pulling out? She's pulling a Henry. <laughs> God damn it. Molly has left. Molly, she, don't Molly pull has out. left. She's left. <laughs> she almost cracked that beer bottle over your head. <laughs> Can't handle the heat, you know. Get out of the kitchen. <laughs> Get out of the driveway because <laughs> you're secreting something. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> stop secreting if you don't want it. <laughs> stop having a vagina because you have a vagina. You want sex? Drink so less. Your just, nipple was hard. Yeah. Drink less water. You'll have less lube. You were breathing, <laughs> so you wanted it. Okay, she's gone. I think I don't know. I'm gonna move forward. There's more to this email. We don't want your science here anyway. <laughs> science. We don't believe in science here. It's all about secretions. I'm, I'm gonna have to do a mass firing after this podcast. <laughs> I want to know more about the sleep sex. Can I? Well, all right. Alan, you the man. You figured out a way. <laughs> Sorry, I just felt compelled to admire my wax job. It looks Ooh. like a baby's ass. Nice. We all should rub it. <laughs> we should. Okay, recently... I'll allow it. I began finger... But then she'll start secreting and it'll be rape. <laughs> Shut up. Should I just not continue? You should continue. Sorry. You know, you disrespect Please Alan. mute John's mic. Won't happen again. No, I was complimenting Alan. Pull a Benji. I wasn't disrespecting him. You got benjied. All right. Recently, I've been finger banging her in her sleep. Nice. She never wakes up, but I know <laughs> she gets off. So when I'm done with her, I go take care of myself. It's about as close to sex as I get, but it bothers me that I do this. I feel like I shouldn't be doing this to her. I wonder if she wakes up knowing she had an orgasm in her sleep, and I wonder if she knows I've been doing that to her. I think she's awake. Would yeah. her vagina Personally. feel different to her when she wakes up? Am I the only one that does this? I feel guilty and ashamed that this goes on, but I can't help it. Thanks for taking the time to read my email. I hope it makes it on the air. Sex deprived and ashamed, Alan. She knows. Listen, this is my theory. She's awake, but doesn't want to. She engage. needs that 
like that atmosphere to be less inhibited and there's some other issue that allows her to not fuck you when she's awake <laughs> that yep or she's ex- she is not kidding when she said she's exhausted and she just wants to get off and not have to do anything yep oh so you're saying she's lazy i'm sorry I, I like maybe i don't know i'm a light sleeper but i just don't think that's possible yeah i mean like consistently having wet dreams and also, why aren't you talking to her about this? Like, there, I think that's the biggest problem in your sex life. Yeah, you have. You guys have no communication. communication. Jinx. I mean, unless she's like heavily medicated, <laughs> I don't think there is any way <laughs> that she could sleep through. No, Speaking I'm from being experience. Serious. No, I think you can sleep through it. You can sleep through months of getting, getting finger months? bent, no. finger think, blasted no. in, at night, and no. not know. I think maybe that, that turns her on now. Maybe she's right. Like, oh, right, sweet. she's it's like and a it's an play. unspoken. Kind but of dude, thing. fuck, Alan, fucking, why aren't you talking to her? That could be a hot role play, dude. Well, why maybe are you at dis- this point he would risk losing her if he's like, by the way, I've been finger banging you in your sleep, and if she actually is asleep. I'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? No, he can pretend he thought she was asleep. Or he should just hop on and see. Like, or, he, no, he thought she yeah. was awake. He can pretend he thought oh, she was awake and be like, I think it's really hot, yeah, like blah, that. blah, blah. And sh- if she's like, what are you talking about? Take it. Yeah. Take it. Is that snoring? It sounds like. Oh <laughs> I would never Strain. date a snorer for the record. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Uh, oh, I bet yeah. you that's Barney, isn't it? And <laughs> that's a clip of Barney sleeping. Oh yeah, it sounds uh, like him. Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah you like that? <laughs> I can take this dildo. <laughs> ah, a huge cock. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Mm. The saddest part about that, the most striking thing, is that. Then he still has to beat off afterwards. Like, he's still not getting anything at it. Like, I mean, like, I'm one of those guys that I get harder and I get excited when my girl gets off. Well, maybe so, that's what he's doing. Right. He's getting himself hard and ready to go, and then he blows his nut. But still, that's like, just throw it in, dude. You're already finger banging her. No, communication Just is jump on her and throw because it in. Because for women, it's... So it's even more like rape. <laughs> I mean, no, I don't think you should jump on her. Just jump on her, throw it in, bud. (laughs) No, you should talk to her. For women, it's very psychological, and there just might be some circumstance that changed for her, and you need some way to get her back in the mood. Yeah, you guys have to... That's obviously getting her in the mood. Yeah, you guys have to talk, There's something about that. This is weird. The whole thing... It's not weird like I'm shaming you. It's weird because it's... You're not... You're not a couple. It's This isn't a couple activity. It's almost like you're both functioning, doing your own thing. With You know what I mean? Like she has an intention. He has an intention. Nobody's communicating about it. I don't know. It's it's uh, There's that's, something missing. You have to figure out what's going on here. And that's like a, that's a role play that's like a common role play where one person pretends to sleep while the other person like kind of just does whatever they want with them right that's like a let's you know it it both it goes both ways too i've seen them both ways right where the guy's asleep and the girl does things or or the other way around so you could you might be able to use that as like your uh springboard yeah into other things yeah not to reference the olympics again but yeah but yeah (laughs) no that that was a terrible idea i know when we tried the diving board in the pool that was bad where do I put my pee pee? He wanted to dive it into my vagina almost, with his penis. He yeah. thought if he jumped off the diving board and landed, uh, if I did a back, like floated on my she back, floating and I'm like, back. that would never work. And he wouldn't believe me, and he had to try it. Yep, didn't work. Instead, I, I kinda, almost drowned. Instead, I kind of missed her a little bit. One of my legs hit her right in the ribs, and my <laughs> dick hit the water like full on hurt. It was bad. Full on hurt. It was bad. Not to mention that uh, people who were watching and we didn't know. Well, we almost got written up. Well, there were other people who had broken in, I think, for similar mm-hmm. reasons. And yeah. Yeah, we got busted. Okay. We have a voicemail from Angel. I think we should play yes. that. Yes. All right. Let's hear it. Okay. What's going on, everybody? Molly, John, Jeff. Hey. Henry, yourself. Henry, you're back. Welcome back, brother. Welcome. And the one and only Dr. Stacy on the Why You Suck in Bed Potters cast on the Riot Cast Network. So I want to offer my confession. No one knows this, but you guys, and I guess the whole world now. So when I was younger, I want to say when I was about 24, um, you know, I was doing my thing. I was seeing this girl, and 
one night we were having sex and it was crazy we were all over the place mm -hmm. and uh, somehow the sex ended up in the kitchen and i had it on a table nice. you know now i'm doing my thing now one of the things i got to stress mm -hmm. is that i'm very particular about my strategies about sex i approach it like chess and one of the things that i do is I need traction. Traction equals good fucking in my mind. So, oh, you know, really? I got I got my boots on. Butt yeah. naked with my boots got on. got Tim's on. I and, uh, tins. you know, I'm fucking her. Fucking yeah. her good. Fuck. Feeling good. Yeah. You know, fucking her hard. And, um, yeah. at the time, like, I was very into porno and I used to do what I would see on these pornos. And one of the things I used to see is these professional actors would be, would do this thing where they would put their hands behind their back and just, you know, yeah, fuck without hands yeah. and they would pull their dick all the way out the pussy yes. and, and then slam it right back in and without right no in. hands oh. and i thought that was incredible because that was to me a sign of a real motherfucker getting it in yeah. you know exactly. so i would try to imitate these things and that night I, I was i was trying to do this i had my hands behind my back you know i was you know real hard so real confident so you know pulling all the way out slammed back in and of course she was loving it she was like damn and i'm like yeah and so i guess at some point like you he know missed. i'm doing this i'm not doing it the whole time but like you know just to show my shit you know show that i can do it well at this point um she freaks out and jumps off the table oh. jumps off the table runs in the bathroom what and i'm looking i'm standing there butt naked with my boots on in the kitchen like the fuck i go to the bathroom and i knock on the door i'm like you okay? What's wrong? And I just hear in the bathroom, like, whimpering, like, <laughs> I'm like, Another what asshole. the hell? Is, are you Surprise okay? And I'm like, animal. knocking on the door. And she's like, uh, uh. I'm like, could you please talk to me? What the hell's going on? Now, mind you, I'm outside the bathroom, butt yeah. naked, with my boots on. He's got bloody dick, dick swinging, looking like a fool. And I'm like, what's going on? And she goes, and I'm like, are you okay? And she's like, no, no. And I'm just like, well, what's wrong? What's wrong? And there's like a silence. And then all of a sudden I hear, oh, and I'm like, she shit. What? And she's like, no, he put it in the wrong oh, hole. Oh. Now, mind you, at that oh. point, I have bad hair. So I'm just like, wrong hole? What? And then it dawned on me, she's saying, wrong hole <laughs> and i'm just standing there like oh man like and then i'm thinking about it, i'm like what at some point when i was being a dickhead and being cocky and being a uh, a faux porn actor i guess i had re-entered into the wrong hole her ass ouchies and I, it was emb i was embarrassed and I, I felt bad for her but even weirder it was like i didn't even notice because i figured i you know i watched anal porn and it seems like a very drawn out slow situation so you would think i would know because it seems like a very tight place to be so that only means that i fucking knocked the hell out of that door i bust through that door and and i can only imagine how much pain she was in oh. needless to say um we didn't finish that night and uh that was my first anal adventure wow so there you have it by the way Tomorrow is Wednesday, August 14th, and uh, um, my girlfriend signed her divorce papers, and uh, we were talking, and I told her, I was like, you know, this weekend, <laughs> I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have my way with you like you've oh. never seen, oh. and, you know, I'm, uh, that my I, I'm really happy that this three-month embargo is over, Yay. so yes. um, I hope all is well, and I hope y'all enjoyed my confession. Take care. Fucking A. No We're dancing. More. Yeah! That was, that <laughs> was fucking the best. Yeah! Woo! Woo -hoo! Come on! I have to admit, he does uh, better voice impressions than you do. He's the best. His voice is amazing. I can tell you how much pain she was in. It's like 10 times worse than a Brazilian. My first boyfriend did that to me. Mm. And it's the kind of pain that brings involuntary tears to your eyes. Mm. It fucking hurts so bad if you mm. have anal without warning. Mm. Uh.
Uh, dude. But at least I, I, I wonder you, if you spoke to her again after that. Yeah. You know? And I was actually going to ask, he answered my question, if it was the first time he had had anal. Yeah. But I was talking about this with someone last night. Like, there are different reasons people have anal, and people think it's because it's tighter. And I guess it is right at the sphincter, but I hear that once you're inside, you know, it's cavernous. No, it's still tight. I, I, maybe How the it, fuck would you know? I've had anal before. Bullshit. You have? Yeah. What you putting up there? I, I thought put, you didn't. No, I put it in, in an ass a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> was she awake? Maybe her dick is only <laughs> as long as the sphincter. <laughs> no dick, it's fucking, it's a narrow or cavity. <laughs> Your fucking vaginas get fucked all the time and it gets all floppy and shit. Now you you're know, an asshole. Stop it. Here we go again. The vagina shrinks back. It does not. Ask any woman who's popped out a kid. It's a big floppy gaping hole now. All right. Gamefly.com, okay. Amazon.com, <laughs> TwistedToys.net. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Twistedtoys.net, enter the code SUCK, and you'll get 20% off. Are you? Did you just end the episode? Yep. <laughs> She's done with you. Damn. Um, Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I get shit for being... Damn. This is my fucking podcast now, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> fucking yeah, you're, you're really not making friends today. Fuck. Why don't you go fuck someone in their sleep? Yeah. That's hot, <laughs> man. That's You could put that in, do, go on any porn site and put it in sleep fucking. Yeah, it's on porn. It's they fine. They just don't want to deal with talking to you. So they're like, fine, I'll pretend I'm sleeping. Yeah, let, let him think he's raping me. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. Same difference. Take yeah. this, you fucking I mean, most girls slut. just lay oh, yeah, there anyway. And your ass. Just flop around on top of them anyway, so. Flop around <laughs> on top of them. That's a really them. good description of what you do. And then you have a snack. <laughs> Out of what was it? The it's, um, like, it's, trough. Like, a, it's like a fish mm-hmm. on top. You just kind of flop up and mm-hmm. down, like a fish out of water. Someone hates women. <laughs> <laughs> um. No, I, I I love women. I just hate your driving. That's all. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> as long as they're secreting, <laughs> right? Then it's, it's okay, okay to stick it in them. Leave. As long as you're secreting, it ain't rape. <laughs> Please cut that. <laughs> that's, that's the perfect way to end this. That's my that's my new T-shirt. I'm gonna make those. We're gonna sell them. <laughs> if she's still a secretin', then it ain't a raping. <laughs> this is I not am, a joke. I Molly is like is like hugging herself in a ball right now. I, the the body language. We've all moved away from you. <laughs> On the upside, you brightened Jeff's day with talk of rape. He's hysterical. (laughs) Nothing makes me happier than rape humor. (laughs) (laughs) Nothing gets you going like a little rape in your cup. (laughs) A fistful of rape. Just stop. (laughs) And a dollar in my pocket. There's some rape on the menu. (laughs) Give me a side order of rape and I'm a laughing. (laughs) All right. Um, so did we thank go Alma? home, John? Well, I wanted to say, Angel, we got to get him on the show. You no one get can him top like, your voice. You really on. rock, and I just want to say thanks. Does he ever say where he's from? Like United States? Was? He might have, but I think I might have forgotten. Do you have any idea, Jeff? I believe it's in the Boston area. Oh, we got to get him down here then. Seriously, you and your lady can come on and talk about yeah. your, your reunited. Seriously, that may or may so not good. sexually assaulted. That would be a good fucking show, man. I got balls the size of grapefruits. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I similar to the Frank episode, I don't really think I'm coming back from this one. I don't. I think we just. I really. Any? Do you guys agree? It's over. <laughs> this whole show. <laughs> this is our last episode. I hope you enjoyed. Henry would be proud wherever he is. Go on the Why You Suck in Bed page and click on the Amazon button to help us out, as oh, well as Gamefly.com. Gamefly. I just got a new game from them. No f- one gives a shit what you're doing. Hey, I'm fucking selling, all right? <laughs> I'm selling, doing the commercials for the show. <laughs> All right, GameFly.com, motherfuckers. They are going to contact us. I just got Last of Us. And tell, it, tell us not to let you do the commercials <laughs> because you're a rapist. Fuck that. <laughs> all, the, all the guys that go on GameFly agree with me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it just gets better. As they play out their rape fantasies. <laughs>
And we also have um, tweakedaudio.com. Enter the code sucking at 33% off. They're amazing earbuds. Ooh. And they come in different colors, mic'd and unmiked. Mm. And just support riotcast.com. Listen to all the shows. and um, But us especially. Send us your love and leave really good reviews for us and send us emails. Send us emails, dudes. We don't get enough emails. And tweet with, us. like sex mm-hmm. questions and stuff. Because I'm an expert. I'll answer your questions. <laughs> and right. <laughs> our email and our Twitter handles are all on our page. Yeah, follow me. I still only have like 105 followers. Well, if John ever got his shit together, we'd actually be doing merchandising. But that, again... I sent <laughs> the pictures to... <laughs> well, you've heard his wonderful slogan. <laughs> I, what else do you want from me? That actually would sell. I, I, I believe. I really hope it wouldn't. Oh, I'd buy like... It would. I'd buy ten of them. <laughs> I believe that. All right. I'm uh, disgusted, and I'm going to end the show. See you next Tuesday. Who Bye. wants Chinese? <laughs>